Good afternoon, everybody. Um, this here is a Smarty, what's the model? Let's see, Smarty Performance King Touch Display Tuner. I was told by uh, our friend Art, we did a video with him a while back, like just under 13 to be safe. I don't know if there's a lag on there or not. When I was pulling mine yesterday, I, just, I had it buried at, uh, uh, 2000. <laughs> she was getting hot. Yeah. I was told by him that whoever recommends tuners to him recommended getting a Smarty over something like an Edge or Quadzilla. Basically, it's easier to install and it has nine preloaded tunes. It gives you, you can get plugs for all the same information. So it's, they're basically on the same level, but this is easier to use. So this is what I ended up getting. Now, being a swap, I hope I can get everything to work properly because I'm not sure if this is just gonna read engine or if it's gonna do other things. Like the Ford swap might mess with something, so hopefully we don't run into any issues that way. Um, also, let's say my injection pump is pulled to code because we're gonna actually plug in an OBD to the Ford and the Dodge OBD because I have two because of swap. We're gonna plug them into both and see what codes are on each one. Let's say I have a bad injection pump. Um, we're still gonna throw this thing on there and run it in a hot tune because, um, well, there's no way I'm putting another VP44 on, so it'll be getting a peep pump. Let's unbox it. So I'd be lying if I said I didn't open this already, but pretend I did. I actually forget, it was like a week ago. So here's your nice, your nice touchscreen display. You, micro USB to micro USB. I'm not sure what that's for. We got a, it looks like a VGA port. I'm not sure if, I don't think that's OBD. With a bunch of plugs on the back. That's, I think the module for running that actually. Here's the actual OBD plug. That looks like OBD. Okay, so this is, this I guess plugs into your OBD and this runs to this. I guess you hide this out of the way. And this, I believe, has a cord that runs out that goes to that. I think we're slowly figuring it out. This is the windshield mount. It's pretty large. Alcohol prep pad, that's a nice touch. And a bunch of zip ties. It's nice they include that. So here's our uh, $3,000 snap-on scanner. You can tell it's snap-on because it's red. Um, Let's see all the information it's going to give us. You have to turn the key on first, or it doesn't matter? It doesn't matter. Let's plug her into the... third. I got cycle. Oh, it's already coming on. I believe you have to... Don't you have to turn the key normally? It'll tell you. Enter equals scan. Okay, waiting for a vehicle to respond. That might have messed it up. Are those all codes that are coming up? <laughs> 19 codes on the Ford. Read codes. Engine, <laughs> of course. Uh, oh wait. Oh, am I supposed to click on that? So these are the engine codes, I guess. Fuel rail, rail pressure sensor. Uh, mass error or volume error. Manufacturer control. Manifold absolute pressure. Exhaust pressure. Engine oil temp sensor high. Intake air temp sensor. Circuit high. Okay, I guess I'll just, you guys can read these if you want. Glow plug control, I don't have glow plugs. I think it's back to where it was, I believe. Okay, well, let's see what this is. Actuator supply, transmission fluid, torque converter. Actually, that torque converter one, might still have 
Okay, so the shift solenoid, I might wanna look into these, because these must be the transmission, which I still have the Ford transmission. Let me click on that again. So I got a actuator supply voltage A circuit. I'm not sure what that is. Transmission fluid temp sensor. Um, yeah, I think that the, the gauge doesn't even work. So that might just be a sensor I could get fixed. Torque converter clutch circuit open. That I might want to look into. This is a, the transmission is tuned. So I'm not sure if that's gonna mess with this stuff and this is actually useless. And there's a shift solenoid A. So, might wanna look into that. Okay, so I think that's all for the Ford. I believe. I believe that's all for the Ford. Now, am I allowed to just unplug it? Yep. I don't know how Snap-on works. If they don't get cranky when you do things wrong. The Dodge one's kind of sticking straight down, funny here. Might go upside down. I'm gonna have to get out to do it. Check if the scan tool's OBD2 is connected securely. Yep. Okay, well, that, it failed. We'll try it once more. So it failed twice, so it's something to do with ignition. We're gonna try to start it and see if that gives the OBD full potential to be red. It's a little cold. It's a little bit cold. Again, there's an error. Um, um, so hopefully, hopefully the tuner can still read enough. Like uh, this is pulling code, and all of a sudden it gets to a point. Whatever. Maybe maybe it's something like it's trying to read transmission stuff, and there's no transmission. I don't know. I don't know exactly how the wiring's set up on here because I didn't do the swap, but hopefully the tuner can pick up what it needs to pick up in order to tune the truck. So I guess we'll do that next. So before we make this permanent and rip the dash apart and run wires, we're just going to plug it all in outside here and see if it's even going to do what we want it to do. Configure your device before driving. This is a high performance product. Use at your own risk. This product is intended for off road use only. They have to say that. This product is not intended to be used to break the law. Oh, hey, that's cool. I was wondering why the screen was getting dimmed because I had my fingers on here. Do not use this product until you have read. Disclaimer liability. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blah, 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 blah. I agree. Okay. Well, it's showing. Something. Yeah. So we're back from supper. Um, while I was inside, I looked at the those two papers, which I left over there. But there's a two icons. There's an SD icon and a ECM communication sort of icon. So if it's green, that means it has full communication. Yellow means partial, and red means no communication. So if we're in the green, that means it's reading everything it can read which is good. So let's hope it does that. We're just gonna test that now. And then I haven't totally figured out how the tunes work. I'll just click on here for a while. See so if I can't figure it out, I'll watch a YouTube video. Because actually the two papers I give you, one's just a, like a licensing agreement warranty thing. And the other one just kind of gives you basics on here. And it doesn't actually say like how to switch your tunes. So. Yep, both icons are green. That means it's full communication and it's reading SD. Which, do we have an SD in here? Maybe it comes with one. Let's just click this. Customize tuning. Um. Ooh. Timing. 
Okay, this is too complex for me. Okay, so I can change timing. That would be pump timing. Okay, that's interesting. What's catcher mean? Okay, so I think if you change your timing... Okay, so yes, there's nine levels of tunes, but I believe really there's probably only like more like four or five because you have the same tune with your timing. Or if, I guess if you're on stock, you just click without timing. Or it's gonna mean um, that was weird, my, oh, my ECM's flashing probably because I'm on this. So I'm going to look into timing, I think. My fast just started making different noise. What's DTC? Throttle position sensor. Oh, is this codes? Throttle position sensor. Number one, voltage low. Okay, so that's lift pump, which I don't even have plugged in stock. There's a turbocharger over boost condition and an accelerator pedal position sensor low voltage. That might be why my I have a little bit of a surge going down the highway. And also, even at idle, if I try to keep it at one RPM with my foot, just trying to get it warm or whatever, it'll jump up a little bit. So that's interesting. I definitely am probably going to look into that. So after plugging it in, read the ECM, everything's good. We know it's gonna work. Um, we're just gonna clean up all the wiring, get it all installed, and the next scene we'll be testing it out on the road. We'll bring you guys along for the ride. So obviously we thought we could just go on the road and tune, try all the different tunes, have fun, whatever. Um, turns out we're ha running into an issue. Um, I don't really care to film about it right now. We're gonna to try to figure it out. We hope it's something small. Um, we don't know for sure now if this is a swap problem or just some other problem, but yeah, we'll try to figure it out and then get back to you. Yay. So the tuner doesn't seem to be working. So there's gotta be some sort of electrical issue I'm thinking we'll start off by testing the alternator because that's easy, but it's something to do with voltage. So it could be my ECM, could be a whole host of things. So electronics suck. Never buy a Tesla because that's all electronic. Sorry, Elon, but you're dumb. Croutons.